Friends Season 2, Episode 30. The title of this morning's message is Almost Perfect Christians. The setting, Mo is with Max, Mickey, and Minnie when the conversation turns to how long they have been attending Kowloon City Baptist Church. They are all famous and very wealthy storybook characters known throughout the world. The subject begins on keeping the Ten Commandments. Watch and see who is doing really well and who is failing the test. I would never kill anybody. I might strangle Mickey for taking my limited edition tennis rackets without asking. Let's hold that! No killing! I can hear it! I can see it! I got it! You murdered that mosquito! Smashing a mosquito is not murder! Let me think of another (laughs) commandment. Do not steal. I would never steal from Minnie. He has girl stuff. What will I want with those things? Ew! Stealing is bad. Giving generously is good. Do not lie is a commandment. I would never tell a lie because I'm young and cute. Does this look like a face that could lie? Yes! Giving a false witness is saying things about other people that are not true. Minnie does not routinely lie. Thanks, Moo. There is a commandment talking about a wife. I would definitely not have a problem with that. I am not interested in girls. So I am absolutely, definitely not going to have a wife. Well, Max, you never know. I think this is an example of a commandment. Max, what about that company we discovered last week? They wanted to make Mickey Mouse toys using our appearance, but not making them in our factories. We sent lawyers after them. They can watch the Mickey Mouse show on the Prison Cartoon Network. That's what we call fraud. Misrepresenting something to trick people into buying something worthless or that is not authentic. This means that people should be careful not to buy fake Mickey Mouse toys or clothes. Don't forget about honoring father and mother. Okay, that's all the commandments that we passed and can consider ourselves almost perfect Christians. Wait a minute. This discussion is like the conversation Jesus had with the rich young ruler. Think very rich like us. He came to Jesus wanting to know what to do to inherit eternal life. See, I told you, just like us. Jesus also listed what we talked about already. Do not commit murder. Do not commit adultery. Steal, <laughs> give false witness or defraud. Honor father and mother. Yeah, we are going to get in the kingdom of God. The rich young ruler also thought he was doing very well on this quiz. Of course, just like us. It was then that Jesus said to him, Go, sell everything you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then, come and follow me. That is so very not like us. Wait, Moo, sell all our Disney company stock? Is that really necessary? Is the money you make more important than your relationship with Jesus? Money? What money? I don't see any money. I only see shoes. Look again! Don't let anything you possess become more important than Jesus. Ah! I can't go barefoot. 
again, and those shoes are everywhere. There must also be 200 shoes in your closet. Yeah! Look at Max. Talk about money. Who else in the family has five gold plated tennis rackets? Papa! Five rackets! Moo, it looks like the whole family has a problem in the way they think about money. Yes, perhaps. It's not that you can't have any money or own any property. The rich young ruler went away sad because he could not live without his money. The commandment we miss was don't call it. Meaning, don't let money become all that you can think about. The rich young ruler would not at that moment give away all the possessions that he had. Okay, family. This week, it looks like a group prayer. I'll go first. Dear Jesus, the rich young ruler has helped me see that I need to sell all my good tennis rackets and return to using metal ones. Please forgive me. Dear Jesus, I have paid too much attention to the Disney company stock. I've only focused on making more money. I will so have of what I own and give it to the poor. Please forgive me. Dear Jesus, you don't need my shoes, but I could give half of my shoes to the poor. I won't miss them. Please forgive me. Amen. Amen.